everybody. Today we're going to work on uh, Jalu St. Nicholas. Um, it's a traditional holiday song, of course. Um, a lot of the students I work with will get these Christmas holiday books, and um, the notes will be placed in there as such, you know. You know. <laughs> and then the chord symbol will be placed above it. Well, if you understand um, a little bit about music theory and, and, and the chord shapes, you can put that all together. So that's what I'm going to show you here today. So this little simple tune, grab the PDF, of course. The melody, well, that first note is an E, right? So if you hold your C shape, the, the chord will say C. So just hold the C shape and strike the chord basically on the downbeat of the measure and then go to the G. Now this time you have to put the D note in there as the melody. And then A minor. And then C7. The melody is up on the top. So you can see basically every chord shape that I've held, with the exception of a few, you have to lift up an, a finger to get like a D6 chord or something like that. But um, every chord shape that you hold will uh, basically have the note in it that you want. Um, so moving on. So that from the D6. Now, a lot of people say, well, you know, what is the six? Well, it's the sixth note in the scale above a D. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll put the B in there. We we'll walk the melody up. And you can see the tabs and everything right there. Then it repeats. This time I went to an E minor, the, the C7, and now we're back to the, um, this is called F over C, by the way, I skipped that earlier. It's like a big F chord. The melody note is an A. Instead of playing the whole big F shape, I just played F over C, which are just these three. And then, now that's a C chord with the G on top. The C on top right there. So you don't play the whole chord, you just play right down to what the melody would be. Okay, then. Okay, so now we get to part two, which um, I just said, well, let's take the melody up an octave. Now, when you do that, you have options to play some jazzier um, sounding chords, you know, like C, C major seven would be here. Now, this is just G7, and that's a G. Diminished, you know, G sharp diminished. Uh, a minor would be, and the E minor. Do it like that. So the arrangement's basically the same, but one thing you can do when you're playing quote unquote uh, jazzy or type of a thing is um, delay when you play the melody. Instead of going on the downbeat, I went like this. So I'm going to play the melody on the end of one, one, and, and then one, and two, and three, four, one, and, and three, four, so on. So it's the same tune, right? But you're, I don't know if you want to call it swinging it, I don't, I don't even know, I'm just like changing how I play the melody to make it sound a little hipper, you know, so the shapes on the PDF so you can see what you're doing. Now this is G7, and then I went to a G sharp diminished, so you might be, not be familiar with that, but it's a nice little sound there. Now A minor is here, this little shape. Harmonics, O, E, then a little bass. Now F major 7. Concept. I'm playing a shape, but the melody note is in the shape. You know? Now C is right here. And there's A minor again. So right now D6 is this guy. Now that time I went back to that, that G7 bit, but I just arpeggiated the notes. Uh, 
some of you might be a little bit, you know, baffled by these uh, jazzier shapes, but um, I'm just wanted to show you like an easier way to do it. And then a little bit more, you know, if you wanted to challenge yourself, um, you know, try to go up the neck a little bit like that. Uh, sorry, I've been ill. My throat is completely trashed here, but I wanted to put this out and wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving 2023 here. And, uh, you know, this is the kickoff to the holiday tunes. I like to play these songs. They're really fun to work on. Um, give me a shout out if you have any questions or thoughts. And uh, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. See you next time.